everybody, and welcome back to Cooking with Miss Cindy. I'm Miss Cindy from the South Brunswick Public Library. As you already know, the weather is definitely cooling down a lot and the days are getting colder and colder by the day. Um, I am not a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, but one thing that I really enjoy is hot chocolate. Um, and I'm not talking about like powdered hot chocolate because I am a little bit of a snob when it comes to hot chocolate. I really like to make my own hot chocolate. I like to make it personalized and make sure that it's the kind of chocolate that I like, the amount of sugar, all that. So the thing that we are making today is called a hot chocolate pod. Basically, I don't want to have to go through the effort of making hot chocolate every single time I want hot chocolate in the winter because that's a lot. <laughs> that would be a lot of time and effort. But what I do like to do is put these little pods together that you can make like in a muffin tin. They're, you know, they're very small. But basically, with a little bit of time and effort kind of at the beginning of the season, you can end up with these little hot cocoa pods that all you have to do later is dissolve in milk. And I like to keep mine in my fridge or my freezer, um, throw it into a cup of hot milk and enjoy a hot chocolate within maybe like two, three minutes. So all it takes is a little bit of extra effort and time, and then you can have these ready for the entire rest of the winter. You can also give them out as gifts, which I have done before, because, you know, who doesn't love the gift of chocolate? So I'm going to show you guys how to make these today with a few ingredients and some really simple steps. As usual, this is going to be fully done in the microwave. There is no need to bust out a pot pan, a stove, or an oven, anything like that. So let's go. Okay, everybody, let's get these hot chocolate pods started. First, let me show you your list of ingredients. You are gonna need chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips. Whatever kind of chocolate chips you like is totally fine. Vanilla extract, condensed milk, heavy whipping cream. And optionally, you're gonna need mini marshmallows. So first thing we're going to do is get all this right out of the way. We are going to take a large microwave safe measuring cup or bowl, whatever works, and we're going to mix in the condensed milk with some of our heavy cream. So to start, I already have an open condensed milk. So I'm going to pour that right in. And let's get some of this excess out. Okay, good. You're going to need the whole 14 ounce can of condensed milk. Usually we'll say 14 ounce, possibly 15 ounce, but basically you're going to want the small can. And I'm just making sure to get all of it. This is where our sugar is coming from. So that's why I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. Like I said before, you can use the milk chocolate kind, but it will definitely come out very sweet if you do that. And I prefer my hot cocoa to be slightly less sweet. So I'm going with the semi-sweet chocolate chips. So once you have your condensed milk, you are going to take your heavy cream and do just half a cup. And make sure to give that a little stir. You want it to be fully incorporated. And because the heavy cream is a lot more liquidy than the condensed milk, you're gonna to wanna to stir slowly and carefully. What I like to do is instead of kind of one of these, at first I like to just kind of push aside before I start mixing. That way there's less chance for a splash back. But now that it's more incorporated, I can stir it like this and it's not going to be splashing all over me. Yeah, 
There you go. Okay, so this is now going to go into the microwave until it is nice and hot. So I will see you then. Okay, so my milk mixture is out of the microwave. And as you can see, it's a lot more liquidy than when it started. That's because it is very hot. So I very carefully took it out of the microwave. It took about two and a half minutes to get this hot. Okay, so now it's time to add in our vanilla extract. This is technically optional, but it does add a good amount of flavor. So I like to definitely go for it and not skip it. So you're adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract to your milk mixture. And now we're going to add the main event, which is the chocolate. Altogether, you're going to want to add about 20 ounces. So 20 ounces, if you think about it this way, a cup is 8 ounces. So 2 cups is 16 ounces, right? And then half a cup is 4 ounces. Altogether, that makes 20. So while this is measured in ounces, if you have kind of a bigger bag and you want to make sure you're getting a good measurement, you're going to want two and a half cups of the chocolate. But it doesn't have to be super exact. If you go a little over or a little under, you should still be okay. So that was 12 ounces. I'm just going to add, I'm just going to estimate here. Altogether, I have my 20 ounces. Now, I started mixing right away, and immediately you could see that the chocolate is starting to melt. So, you want to kind of do a folding action, which instead of a stir, it's to go down and up, and that will help incorporate the chocolate. This is probably my favorite way of uh, melting chocolate anyway because it's a lot safer than trying to do it over the stove. You're not working with direct heat. It's all just melting from the heat that's left over in the milk. Just keep stirring, and eventually you'll see that it goes from kind of like a lumpy brown to a much smoother, darker brown. So now that this is done, it's time to put it into a pod. Muffin liners. I have ones that are made of silicone, so they're reusable, but you can also use the paper ones that you get at the store. If you do go that route, though, I suggest maybe doubling up just so that it's a little bit thicker, since these hold up a little bit better. But either way, you're going to go in with your chocolate, and I have them here, but I actually should have more. You carefully, which is why I'm using a microwave safe um, measuring cup rather than a bowl because it's easier to pour. Just kind of dump a chunk till it's about three quarters full. Well, that one came out a little too full, so that's going to be an extra chocolatey pod. That's okay. You can also, if you decide, put it into mini muffin ones. That's good too, but I'm just using regular standard size muffins. Okay, so I'm just going to shake it a little bit. So that the chocolate starts to settle down and now again optionally you can add in marshmallows 
I like to add in marshmallows because I think it makes it a little more special, but not everybody does eat marshmallows, not everybody can eat marshmallows, and not everybody likes marshmallows. So, like I say, they're optional. So you just take a couple, or like five, and you push them in. You want it so that when the chocolate hardens, the marshmallow stays a part of it. So I'm just going to do maybe like half of these with, with the marshmallow. Again, you want to push it. All right, that's four with marshmallow, five without. I think that'll be good. And now this is going to go in the fridge to harden up and solidify. It's definitely going to take at least a couple of hours. So if you are making this because you're going to want hot chocolate within the next 20 minutes, that's not going to work. I'm going to tell you right now. But this is going to work if you give this as a gift to somebody and you make this like the day before you give it to them. So I'll see you guys when these are all done. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours and my hot chocolate pods are just about solid. So they're still, they're kind of soft, you know, like, like a really hard Play-Doh. But this is about where you want them to be. So now that they're all done... You can feel free to unwrap them if you're using um, reusable silicone ones like I am. Or you can go ahead and keep them in their paper containers and gift them to friends or family, anything like that. So basically what you do is you take one of these pods and you melt it into two cups of hot milk. So basically you get a mug of hot milk. You go ahead and just pop one of these in there. And just like before, when we just let the hot chocolate melt into the hot milk, it all melts together. Obviously, it won't come out as thick. And this will melt into the hot milk, give it a stir, and you have a really good hot chocolate. So, I hope you guys learned something cool this time around. I hope you make something delicious with it. And I will see you guys next time on Cooking with Miss Cindy. Bye!